Welcome to Ultrasound Review 6. There are 43 questions and a few images in this video. Ready? Let's rock! A uranoma may be defined as a heterogeneous irregular mass, b walled off collection of extravasated urine, c lymph filled space without a distinct epithelial lining, d cystic space anterior to the aorta. The answer is b walled off collection of extravasated urine. What is the area of the kidney where the vessels and ureter enter and exit called a renal cortex? b renal column c renal hilum d renal pelvis adrenal hemorrhages are more common in a toddlers b young adults c older adults d neonates the answer is d neonates adrenal insufficiency is typically caused by a metastatic lesions b adrenal cyst c lymphadenopathy d adrenal adenoma the answer is a metastatic lesions all of the following structures are located in the retroperitoneum except the a spleen b aorta c psoas muscle d kidney the answer is a spleen the spleen is an intraperitoneal structure Excessive secretion of aldosterone occurs in what syndrome? A. Waterhouse Friedrichsen. B. Cushing. C. Addison. D. Cone. The answer is D. Cohn syndrome. Metastases to the adrenal gland are most commonly caused by primary carcinoma of what organs? A. Kidney, colon, and liver. B. Lung, breast and liver. C. Lung, breast and stomach. D. Breast, liver and kidney. The answer is, C. Lung, breast and stomach. Kidney is an intraperitoneal organ, true or false. Paraaortic lymphadenopathy generally displaces the kidney, A. Anteriorly. B. Medially. C. Laterally. D. Posteriorly. The answer is, C. Laterally. The sandwich sign represents, A. The complex appearance of adrenal hemorrhage. B. Enlarged lymph nodes in the renal hilar area. C. The image of the left adrenal gland between the crust of the diaphragm and the left kidney. D. Enlarged lymph nodes anterior and posterior to the mesenteric vessels. The answer is, D. Enlarged lymph nodes anterior and posterior to the mesenteric vessels. The area between the bladder and rectum is called the what space? A. Bilateral pararectal. B. Rectovesical. C. Iliac. D. Presacral. The answer is B. Rectovesical. The iliosos muscle, ureter, and branches of the inferior vena cava, aorta, and their lymphatics is in the a. Anterior perarenal space. B. Posterior perarenal space. C. Perarenal space. D. Space. The answer is B. Posterior perarenal space. The left adrenal gland lies lateral to the A. Tail of the pancreas. B. Stomach. C. Cross of the diaphragm. D. IVC. The answer is C. Cross of the diaphragm. The length of the normal adult adrenal gland is usually smaller than a 3 mm, V2 mm, C2 cm, D3 cm. The answer is D3 cm. The most common adrenal tumor in infancy is the A. Aeroblastoma, B. Pheochromocytoma, C. Liposarcoma. D. Adenoma. The answer is, A. Neuroblastoma. The most common primary retroperitoneal tumor is, A. Lymphoma. B. Germ cell tumor. C. Fibrosarcoma. D. Lyomyosarcoma. The answer is, A. Lymphoma. 
The retroperitoneal space is the area between the a posterior portion of the parietal peritoneum and the posterior abdominal wall muscles. b posterior portion of the visceral peritoneum. c anterior portion of the parietal peritoneum and the posterior abdominal wall muscles. d anterior portion of the parietal peritoneum and the anterior abdominal wall muscles. The answer is a posterior portion of the parietal peritoneum and the posterior abdominal wall muscles. The right adrenal gland lies posterior to the a IVC. b right kidney. c liver. d cross of the diaphragm. The answer is a IVC. What adrenal tumor demonstrates intermittent hypertension and severe headaches? A. Myolipoma. B. Neuroblastoma. C. Adenoma. D. Pheochromocytoma. The answer is D. Pheochromocytoma. Which of the following muscles lie posterior to the kidneys? A. Iliopso as in levator ani. B. Obturator internus and piriformis. C. So as in iliopsoas. D. So as in quadratus lumborum. The answer is D. So as in quadratus lumborum. Which one of the following demonstrates an excessive secretion of epinephrine? A. Medulla tumor. B. Adrenal cyst. C. Adrenal adenoma. D. Neuroblastoma. The answer is A. Medulla tumor. Which one of the following is the most common primary adrenal tumor? A. Carcinoma. B. Cyst. C. Adenoma. D. Pheochromocytoma. The answer is C. Adenoma. Choose the tumor that invades the IVC from a connecting vein. A. Islet cell carcinoma. B. Venous angioma. C. Nephroma. D renal cell carcinoma. The answer is D. Renal cell carcinoma. In patients with massive swelling of the lower trunk and leg edema and a dilated IVC, what should be suspected? A. Rupture. B. Arteriovenous fistula. C. Infection. D. Retroperitoneal tumor. The answer is B. Arteriovenous fistula. The arterial supply to the gallbladder is via the a. superior mesenteric artery b. gastroduodenal artery c. cystic artery d. hepatic artery The answer is c. cystic artery The clinical signs of leg edema, low back pain, pelvic pain, gastrointestinal complaints, and renal and liver problems may represent a superior mesenteric thrombus. B. IVC thrombosis. C. Abdominal rupture. D. Retroperitoneal tumor. The answer is B. IVC thrombosis. The distribution of the superior mesenteric artery is to the A. Small intestine and the proximal half of the colon. B. Proximal half of the colon and the small intestines. C large intestine and the distal half of the colon. D. Distal half of the colon and the liver. The answer is, B. Proximal half of the colon and the small intestines. The duodenum and parts of the stomach are supplied by the, A. Superior mesenteric artery. B. Hepatic artery. C. Gastroduodenal artery. D. Splenic artery. The answer is, C. Gastroduodenal artery. The gastroduodenal artery is a branch of the A. Superior mesenteric artery. B. Common hepatic artery. C. Splenic artery. D. Left gastric artery. The answer is B. Common hepatic artery. The inferior mesenteric artery distributes blood to the A. Ascending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum B. Ascending colon and rectum. C left transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum. D. Descending colon. The answer is, C. Left transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, 
and rectum. The IVC courses anteriorly to enter the A. Right ventricle. B. Right coronary sinus. C. Left atrium. D. Right atrium. The answer is D. Right atrium. The most common cause of abdominal aneurysms is A. Syphilis. B. Atheroma. C. Arteriosclerosis. D. Cystic medial necrosis. The answer is C. Arteriosclerosis. The normal diameter of the aorta is less than how many millimeters in men? 2, 10, 4, or 23? The answer is D, 23 millimeter. The portal veins carry blood from the what to the liver? A. Splenic artery. B. Intestinal tract. C. Peripheral venous system. D. Hepatic artery. The answer is B. Intestinal tract. The portal venous system receives blood from all of the following except the A. Gallbladder. B. Kidneys. C. Pancreas. D. Spleen. The answer is B. Kidneys. The right renal artery passes blank to the inferior vena cava, IVC. A. Anterior. B. Medial. C. Lateral. D. Posterior. The answer is, D. Posterior. The vessel that arises from the anterior aortic wall and takes a parallel course to the aorta is the, A. Superior mesenteric artery. B. Hepatic artery. C. Inferior mesenteric artery. D. Renal artery. The answer is, A. Superior mesenteric artery. What vessel passes anterior to the third part of the duodenum and posterior to the neck of the pancreas? A. Superior mesenteric vein. B. Superior mesenteric artery. C. Splenic vein. D. Inferior mesenteric vein. The answer is, A. Superior mesenteric vein. Where do the renal arteries branch from the lateral wall of the aorta? A. Inferior to the SMA. B. At the level of L4. C. Superior to the SMA. D. Superior to the hepatic arteries. The answer is, A. Inferior to the SMA. Which one of the following statements is false for a patient with renal vein thrombosis? A. Doppler flow increases in renal vein. B. Direct visualization of thrombi in the renal vein and IVC is possible. C. Renal size increases in the acute phase. D. Loss of normal renal structure occurs. The answer is, A. Doppler flow increases in renal vein. Which one of the following statements is incorrect? A. The portal vein is formed anterior to the pancreas. B. The portal vein drains blood out of the gastrointestinal tract. C. The portal vein enters the lesser omentum. D. The portal vein has an anastomosis with the esophageal veins, rectal venous plexus, and superficial abdominal veins. The answer is, A. The portal vein is formed anterior to the pancreas. Which one of the following vascular structures courses between the aorta and SMA? A. Gastroduodenal artery. B. Celiac trunk. C. Left renal artery. D. Left renal vein. The answer is, D. Left renal vein. Identify the structure in number 1. That is the isthmus. Identify the structure in numbers 1 and 2. 1 is the spermatic cord. 2 is the upper pole of the testicle. Identify the structure. That is the stomach leomyoma. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps with your exams. Good luck! Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe.